You're watching Bionic Dance. Don't run on automatic, it's dead. Please think. Hi everyone, it's Pastor Wagner. This is my weekly video blog. Today I want to talk about how transhumanism is satanic and it is antichrist. Gentlemen, we can rebuild him. We have the technology. We have the capability to make the world's first bionic man. Think I could get him to do a bionic dance? Let's do this. <laughs> Greetings fellow space travelers, Bionic Dance here. And yep, it's Pastor Wagner again. And he's got a thing or three to say about humanity making improvements upon itself. He thinks God isn't going to like it. Check it out. I'm going to give you just a brief definition from Wikipedia of transhumanism. It says transhumanism, which is abbreviated with an H and a plus, so if you see that sign you'll know that it's talking about transhumanism, is an international, cultural, and intellectual movement with an eventual goal of fundamentally transforming the human condition by developing and making widely available technologies to greatly enhance human intellectual, physical, and psychological capabilities. Well, right away you know I think it's badass. Bionic, bionic <sighs> what I wouldn't give. Well, where do you think the name Bionic Dance came from? But one of the aims, and probably the major aim, is to extend life artificially or even uh, indefinitely to immortality. So that's really the the goal and the aim of transhumanism. Now the problem with this is that the Bible teaches that death entered in the, into the world by sin, by Adam's sin, and the death passes upon all men, and it, all men will die in Adam. Well, gee, do you think we're all going to fit? The fact of the matter is, transhumanism or not, yes, all of us will eventually die. I mean, hell, unless humanity manages to completely transcend physical form, eventually the heat death of the universe will do us in. That's assuming, of course, that we don't develop technology necessary to recharge the universe or jumpstart a second Big Bang. But does it really matter that much how long it takes us to croak? It says in Romans 5 and verse 12, Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. So all will physically die because of this. So transhumanism, technology, notwithstanding, everybody is going to die. Yeah, but as I pointed out, it doesn't say when. In fact, aren't there people in the Bible who lived for multiple hundreds of years? Moses' father lived for 137 years, his father lived to 133 years, and Moses himself went to the ripe old age of 120. Shem lives for 600 years. Noah seems to have lived 960 years. That's 350 even after the flood. And do we even have to get into Methuselah? Oldest dude in the Bible went to a whopping 969 years old. Well, I bet I know someone who needed a wheelchair and tons of face cream. So if God's gonna get cranky at humans for modifying themselves to have longer lifespans, I think we get to call hypocrite. I mean, hell, we've already done it. Modern medicine has extended the average human lifespan by decades. And really, I'm not gonna believe in some ancient book written by fearful, ignorant goat herders who needed some way to explain death and comfort themselves over their fear of the inevitability of it. I see they're having told campfire stories stories is far more likely than some vengeful god punishing all of humanity with death just because of one dude's mistake. And correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't sin enter the world through Eve and that stupid apple of hers? And this is why we can trust the Bible, because the Bible describes things as they actually are. We see the human condition and it matches up with what the scripture says. Well, either that or the people writing the scripture made it match up with what they saw in the world. You sure you got the order of which inspired which right there, pal? So to think that immortality is possible in this life is to, is to deny the effects and the existence of sin, both. So transhumanism is anti-biblical, just on this fact alone. And that's bad. Now death is inescapable. Anybody that doesn't believe that, just look around. You see anybody living forever? It's going to happen to you. You better get ready for it. Oh, well, allow me to retort. Yeah, we know. Death is all around us and nobody's managed to prevent it yet. That's the point. Transhumanism is a way of trying to change that. Duh. God said 3,000 years ago that man's life would be 70 to 80 years. And guess what? 3,000 years later, 
Man's life is still 70 to 80 years. The average American lives under 80 years, even with all of our technology. It, we still live under 80 years, just like God said 3,000 years ago. Oh, really? Well, let's have a look at this handy-dandy little life expectancy chart I found on Wikipedia. You used Wikipedia, so I think I get to as well, yeah? Looks to me like it wasn't at least until medieval times that the human life expectancy went anywhere near 80 years. And that was only for scholars, not the average peasantry, who averaged about 30. In fact, it looks like it wasn't until 2010, more or less modern day, that the life expectancy even got close to 65-ish. Now, it sounds to me like your Bible and its followers don't know much at all about human lifespan. Only a numbskull who thinks he knows things about things he knows nothing about. Now to try to attain immortality in this life is to be guilty of the sin of Lucifer and the sin of Adam and Eve. Because remember, both of them, all three of them, wanted to be like God. But wait. If Adam and Eve hadn't sinned, wouldn't death have not entered the world? And I thought that apple was supposed to be knowledge, not superpowers like immortality. Was I lied to all these years? Was I wrong when I read the Bible? Because that's the only way I can possibly be wrong on this one. That is the goal of transhumanism, to make humans like God. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. Telling other people what their own motives are? To Palin. You can say that's what the goal of transhumanism looks like to you, but I can state with confidence that the goal of transhumanism doesn't give God a single thought. Lucifer has been at this lie forever. This lie of transhumanism he told Adam and Eve. He said, For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Satan! 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 Again, did you hear what you just said? Eyes open, knowing good and evil. This is information, not death, not God powers. If you want to accuse anybody of acting like Lucifer, go after the guys who started Google, not transhumanists. Now, immortality is only possible by Jesus Christ dying for a person's sins and giving them, resurrecting their mortal body to an immortal one. Well, isn't that special? I don't know. Sounds to me like that's what you want to be true, rather than what is so. Because obviously there are people working on it. And you don't know that they won't succeed, yet you seem awfully confident that they can't. I have to wonder what your basis for that assertion is, if not that book of fairy tales in which you put so much stock, but which so many others find less realistic than Lord of the Rings. Jesus Christ became a man and destroyed death and destroyed the devil, the ultimate transhumanist he destroyed. Ugh, seriously? Jesus didn't defeat death because, hey, people still cack it, don't they? But I'm going to assume you mean death of the soul, not just death of the body, am I right? I'm just basing that on stuff you said earlier. But if you want anybody with half a brain or a lack of childhood indoctrination to take that one seriously, you're going to have to prove that souls exist first. Ready? Go! But more than that, Satan isn't really a transhumanist. Maybe he wanted to extend the lifespan, but the method matters just as much as the goal. Lucifer seemed to be using magic to achieve his ends, but you said it yourself. Developing and making widely available technologies to greatly enhance human intellectual, physical, and psychological capabilities. If you're not curing diseases and turning people into cyborgs, your chances are pretty bad at making friends in the transhumanist clubhouse. Verse 15, and deliver them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. Those of you who out there who are transhumanists, you are afraid of death. That's why you want to try to prolong your life as long as you can. You want to try to prolong your life? It's by the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord prolongeth days. I never had a camera in my head. Telling other people why they're doing things? It's a peddling. I'm not afraid of your god. I don't think he exists. What I don't like is the idea of dying and that being the end when there are so many things I haven't gotten to do. I would give just about anything to go to space, to travel across the universe, to see other planets. But I was born several centuries, if not millennia, too early. And that pisses me right the fuck off. But with transhumanism, I might get to live that long. I might get to do all of those things I would otherwise miss out on. But you want to tell me that I don't want to die because of your God? What sheer arrogance. Your God isn't even a factor. I don't think he's any more real than a fairy tale legend. But you're going to accuse me of not wanting to die because I'm afraid of somebody I don't think is any more real than Darth Vader? Fuck you. It's Jesus that abolishes death. It's not all of our technology. 
it will never abolish death. What has our technology done but prolong our lives in misery, basically? Are you saying you're miserable? Because I kind of like life, and I like that technology is making it longer. What is the healthcare system in the United States? It's disease management, at best. And that's... bad. It just makes you live longer in that hospital bed, draining all of your money out of you. Money? You mean the root of all evil? Furthermore, why would any sane person want to live forever in this earth? I've listened to these transhumanists talk about living 150 years or 500 years, 10,000 years, or even forever. Why in the world would anybody want to live in this earth more than you have to? I mean, if I'm around more than 70 years, I'm going to be irritated. Well, good for you, Skippy, but I already told you why I want to live longer. If I could somehow combine Rebel Alliance pilot with Time Lord, I'd be a pretty happy camper, and transhumanism sounds like a step in that direction. And don't go telling me that's just some stupid fantasy. You're the one who believes in magical sky fairies and resurrections. And I wonder how eager you'd be for death if you didn't think that God was real. Are you irritated because you want to go to heaven? Is that it? Tell you what. You go right ahead and die young. I'm going to live forever or die trying. So I question the sanity of anybody who's a transhumanist. Yeah? Well, I question the critical thinking and judgment of anyone who believes in a god. I could question their sanity. Goodness knows plenty of them deserve it. But at least to start, I think I'm going to give them more benefit of the doubt than you're willing to do. I'm just saying. Anyway, thanks for your time. I'll talk to you again next week, Lord willing. Yeah, yeah. Go away. Nobody likes you. Um, there's a chance I might be just a little bit grouchy today. And I'm spent. Until next time, fellow space travelers, this is Bionic Dance saying don't run on automatic. Instead, please think. Vote me down and I shall become more powerful than you can possibly imagine.